El Wapo Boss Rudy, who will cut his teeth in the land of the rising sun. And Frank, uh, you know him very well. I know him very well. My face knows him very well. My nose knows his foot very well. He broke it with a kick in our very first fight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on! Oh, Rudin with the kick! Rudin continues to rock his opponent! He's dropped it! Rudin scores the knockout! What a fight! Wow! What a fight! Still, I still get goosebumps watching that fight. That's really, you know, that's when you realize that hard work pays off. And I applaud you guys for coming in this dojo because it's not easy. You know, this is not like a street fight. Dojo. This is fighting against an untrained person. What you guys are doing right now is coming in here and test your skills against trained professionals. And that's, that's a big step, let me tell you that. You know, and think about mixed martial arts. Let me explain to you really fast what mixed martial arts is. Let's think, let's take four Olympic sports. Let's take the kicks from Taekwondo. Let's take the wrestling from wrestling. Let's take the boxing from boxing. And let's take the submissions from judo. Now, those are four Olympic sports. Those guys train solely on all those sports two or three times a day, only judo, only boxing. Now, you, my friend, have to know this all. First of all, we gotta learn the basics. The basics are the most important thing in mixed martial arts. Actually, the basics are the most important thing in everything. L the foundation of a house. If the foundation of a house is not right, boom, it will eventually <laughs> crumble. And you do not wanna crumble in a fight okay now see that cute little blonde over there that's right that's my girl go over there sign in and i'll see you in class hey let's get you signed up what's your name the cute little blonde he says the cute little blonde so this is ea mma career mode ladies and gentlemen so as you guys can see we are going to be using john bones jones um, I've gone ahead and uh, got his name, John Jones, Bone Crusher. That is the closest name to Bones that we have. Um, I am going to be fighting in the heavyweight division. Um, his hometown, of course, Rochester, New York. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, make his, his face. I'm going to give him the closest, the closest face to John Jones that we have. I've gone through all these faces, and this is the closest to John Jones that I can get. So I'm going to go with this one right here. Um, his skin tone, of course, I think the skin tone right here is correct. We don't want to go too dark, so we're going to keep it at that. And then for his physique, um, we want him to be ripped. We absolutely want him to be ripped. There you go. Heavyweight John Jones. Eyes. I think the color of his, I think his eye is a little bit darker than this right here, so we're gonna go with that. Let's make it a little bit darker. Um, go ahead and continue right here. Next up is gonna be the hair. I'm going to give John Jones my favorite look, my favorite John Jones look, which is bald John Jones. Bald John Jones with a goatee. That is my favorite version of John Jones, period. Now, you guys might not like it. I completely understand if you don't like it and if you really, really want me to change it, I will gladly do that for you guys, considering you are the ones that are watching this thing anyways. But my favorite look for John is this right here. Let's get him his uh, his facial hair. I know this game has just the goatee. Yes, it does. Right there. Right there. Black. And that is it. That is John Jones. Um, I know he. I know they have tattoos in this game, though. Let's see if we can give him. See if we can put a tattoo on that chest, on that right chest. We can't really give him his exact tattoo, though. So we have to find something that is at least close. Something that is close. What is close that I could put on that right chest? Uh, right there. Only the strong survive. <laughs> I need I need lettering. Oh, well, there's this one. This one's lettering. The good die young. I don't like I don't like that message at all. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the other one right here. We're gonna go with the strong survive. Only the strong survive. We're gonna go with that one. I like that. I'm gonna put that right there. And that's it. 
that is it. I'm not going to put any more tattoos on this man. Continue. His clothing. I want short shorts. Shirts. I mean, is there a way we can go shirtless? Can we go shirtless? Yeah, let's go none. No shirts. No shirts for John Jones. Primary shorts. I'm going to go with these right here. These very short shorts. The color of it, though. I'm going to go... I like this gold trim, though. Yeah, gold for champion. Yeah, baby. Gold for champion. No logos, nothing. Alternate shorts. Uh, look at these Muay Thai shorts. Still, alternate shorts. Shorts, we're still going to go with the, with the short ones right here. And what color do I want for John Jones right here? How about we just go full on pure gold? No, that's like yellow. Um, go with that. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything you guys want me to change. As you guys are watching this, let me know. For his attitude, his walkout, generally I like the uh, normal. Normal right here. We're going to go with that. It's just him just walking out normal. Generally, John Jones is playful when he's walking out to the octagon, but I don't like the way the playful looks right here. Don't really care too much for walkout music. Um, his introduction. Uh, do I want him to stand completely still? Muay Thai. Pace back and forth. Well, John Jones paces back and forth. That's generally what he does. So we're going to go with pace. Pace back and forth. And then when he's done... We're going to go bow. Pace back and forth and then bow. His stance, I want to give him... Uh, I want to give him something that's similar to the way John Jones actually stands. And that would be basic boxer right here. See, brawler stands a little bit lower. Jiu-jitsu looks all fidgety. Judo, kickboxer. The right hand is up. Low, uh, lead hand is down. This is more like the... This is more like the Jose Aldo a little bit. Muay Thai. This is traditional Muay Thai with the hands all the way up. John Jones does not stand like that. Basic wrestler. When Jones first, uh, when when John Jones first came into the octagon, when he was first fighting in the UFC, when he had more of a, a wrestling base, he would get very low, very very low, and his style was very similar to this. He would get super super low, but as, his, as he started striking a little bit more, he's more upright like this basic boxer right here. So look at this authentic Nick Diaz right there. <laughs> this Jason Miller one is hilarious. Arms waving all over the place. All right, let's go basic boxer. Call it a day. Celebration. Celebration. John Jones likes to blow the kiss. Look at this Jacare crawl. Exhausted yelling. Jump in splits, back flip off the cage, jump with arms up, scream and flex, confident walk. Yeah, if I had Israel at this on you, I would have gone with the King Mo dance, but we would have gone with the King Mo dance, but I think um Yeah, just something so something small like that. Yeah, we'll go for John Jones. Continue. Confirm selections. I think my fighter is ready to go. He is ready to go, baby. All right, so I'm going to show show some of these trainings just so you guys can see what it looks like. I've done all these before, so I kind of recognize them, but I'm going to show them just so you, for those of you that have not played the career mode, just so you you see what it's like. So. We're going to practice, stand up. This, this career right, mode is different, man. Slow. It really Get is. Get comfortable throwing your basic set of strikes, and then you have to show me how well you can defend yourself. Now, lead go. with the jab and follow with a couple of... All right, now set up the uppercut with a jab. All right, good stuff. Now, you've got all the basic punches down, so go ahead and throw this Okay. Couple. Jab cross jab, elite left hook. And then you're going to finish it. Nice. Now, uppercut. go ahead and throw some leg X. To slow him down uh, to take away his uh. power. X, circle. That's going to do X. some damage over Okay. Time. Now to do an instant One, knockout type of damage, two. do a roundhouse to the head. Go ahead and perform a few roundhouses. Okay. Uh, 
Dude, that's what I'm throwing. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? That is literally what I'm throwing, as you guys can see. You're gonna break your opponent <laughs> if you give that up. Great job. <laughs> Let's get to I don't like doing these training modes because sometimes yeah, it's just weird. Some stamina drills. Now go ahead and start off by throwing as many punches as you can. Perfect. Now move around a little bit and throw some more heavy punches. Okay. Hey, where's your head? Come on, concentrate. I can tell you one thing. Your next opponent would quit if he just seen you do that. Knowing how to conserve and expand your stamina is only half of the equation. You also need to know how to drain stamina. So we're going to work the body. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, he wants me to... Dude. Okay. Good. Now, body shots uh, don't show tons of damage, uh, but they uh, will drain all the energy uh, and uh, spirit uh, of a fighter. Go ahead, throw uh, a body combo. Uh, don't forget about the legs. They have a stamina of their own. X, if you start a little X, kicking the legs, man, the guy's gonna hop around X, the ring. X. When that is what you're capable of, you should I think you guys get the time. point. I think you, you get the point. Yourself? Let's go. All right. One, two, three, I four, see how you stick and move. one. So, Get him with a bomb, jab bomb, and dash good. Back. Now, hit him with a jab bomb, and follow it up bomb, with a hook and quickly go. circle to the right. One, two, well circle. Done. Now, get him one, with two, two from your lead hand. I go. wish everyone in this gym could do it like that. You really have it down. Blocking. So you aren't going to get Hold R2 to block. block a few shots. But remember, if you sit there and you block all fight like a sissy, yeah, because that's how it looks. Now, if you want to parry a shot, it will throw him off balance, and you can follow. There's a parry. For counter. There's a parry. Left, there we go. You want to parry it to the parry. And if you parry. Parry. Right, you want to do it right. There we okay, go. Okay, it looks like you got the basic stuff, which is good because surprise, surprise, I have you booked for your first amateur fight. Uh oh, right away. <clears throat> Just focus on your stand up right now. We'll get to the rest later. But if you want, we can spar a little bit. Nah, let's go to the amateur fight. Let's go fight. Let's get the first fight down. I think the first fight is literally right here in the gym. There's a left hook. Left hand. There we go. See if we can fight like John. Switch. Cross. Head kick. Of course, like when we're Jones. Leg kick. Leg kick. Again, head kick to the body, roundhouse again. When Bones is in southpaw, very kick heavy to the body. A uh ho to the body, double it up, boom, boom. Head kick. Oh no. We don't want that. I have no power. Oh boy. You guys see his head? Mm. Oh, that one caught him. Oh boy. He's about to get. Stopped! He's about to get stopped! That's it! Stand up is only done the mixed martial arts equation. You're also going to need to know how to handle yourself in a clinch. Don't worry, it gets more interesting. So you guys get the point of these tutorials. I really don't want to spend too much time doing them. Just cause there is it's really I mean, if if it's your first time playing the game, you might want to do these tutorials. Um, but it's really not that fun to do are, them, honestly, so we we'll skip it. Job. Now, it seems like you know what you're doing. <clears throat> Let's use all the tools that you've learned to end this fight quick. You want to spar a little bit before we head out? Um, no. No. John Jones is special. We don't show up to training. 
we just go we just go and fight to the body there we go bum 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 to the body sometimes these shots will not connect it's weird there's a head kick double it up oh he caught me yo gotta be careful with this vulnerability leg kick to the head give me the head kick mm. oh rocked that was a bad rock finish him he's done that's it that was a bad bad rock and you walked away with the victory way to go Okay, just checking to see if your number works. Keep your phone handy. You can access everything you need for your career there. You can start training for your first pro fight whenever you are ready. Yes, Listen, you have I am ready. To worry about with your training. You can trust me. I always pick the best opponents for you. I'll send you the contract via email. And all you have to do is sign it. This is so interesting. My trainer just decides, hey, this is who you're fighting. All you gotta do is sign it. You know, you just just train. All you gotta do is train. I'll pick who you fight. <laughs> Try, imagine trusting someone that much, bro. You decide who I fight next. I'm just gonna train. All right, let's see. Brandy Olsen, league contract. We met when I signed you up on your first day, remember? My job is to make sure you get a copy of your contracts. Baz got you offers from two different startup leagues. Pick one. And I'll send you your first fight contract, Miss Olsen. That's the blondie. Let's see. Two fight leagues. Renegade Fight and League. That's the first one. Weapons of Destruction. Three to five minute rounds. Ten point scoring. No head kicks or, or knees to the ground. It's all the same thing. So which one sounds better to you folks, man? Weapons of Destruction or Renegade Fight League? We're going to go with Weapons of Destruction. That sounds, uh, that sounds uh, Listen, gnarly enough. League named Weapons of Destruction. Come on, not the greatest thing, okay? So let's finish your opponent and move on to the next one. Weapons of destruction. I agree, man. That's it's it's not one of the it's not, it's not too great. Let's see. Boz adheres to a strict eight-week training regime leading up to fights. So I will send you your contract two months before each bout. Don't worry, Boz knows how to pick opponents. Besides, if we gave you a choice, you would just pick the fight with the biggest purse. Well, yeah. I would what I would kind of hope that's what you guys would be doing for me considering um that's the whole entire point of this for me to make as much money as I possibly can what are you talking about Brandy I need someone else in here I need someone else in here that's trying to get me the money fights well, what do you mean I will pick the fights with the biggest purse that's what you should be picking for me I would have already fired her I would have found somebody else holy shit anyways Let's look at this opponent's history right here. What have you got to offer me, bro? What have you been doing? Okay, so uh, you lost your last fight by submission. Before that, you won. Okay, so you've lost two. You won three. Then you lost. Okay. You've been on a, on a roller coaster, buddy. On a roller coaster. What is your attribute? Stand up, 66. So the biggest thing to worry about is going to be your damn clinch. You're going to want to clinch me over and over and over again. You stand up, nothing to worry about right there. Ground game, nothing to worry about. Submissions are trash. I just have to worry about you trying to clinch me over and over again. Okay? You got it, bro. You must go through eight weeks of training camp before every single fight. Without it, you won't be ready to win. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is when you take a look at the training uh, sessions right here, you've got stand-up, you've got clinch, you've got ground, and you've got submission. The beautiful thing about this career mode is that when you train, you can simulate the training. So when you get the highest score, you don't have to go back and do it over and over again. You can just simulate it. So for this one, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to go with... I'm going to go with uh, kickboxing combo right the there. Great thing about type Complete the combos on type pad the fourth time. Elbow. Take a breather.
All right, so we got a B on this. Um, it's not easy to to get these things because, like, with this game, man, there's a there's a very clear, very clear input lag. Not not necessarily input lag. It's just again, it's an EA game, so <laughs> the start off animations are so big that the moves you're trying to perform all seem like it's happening in slow motion. So I'm gonna go stand up again. This time we're gonna try boxing combo. A powerful strike needs jab, speed jab, to get to jab. his target. So let's work on that. Jab, straight, jab, That's straight. That's a combo that will jab, punish your straight, opponent. Jab. Here we jab, go. Straight, Ten seconds left. Jab, I can hook. tell you one thing. Okay. Your next opponent would quit if he just seen you do hey. it. A. We got an A on this one. All right. We're gonna simulate this exercise one more time. So now I don't have to do this again. Now that I've got an A, every time I, I try to do this exercise, I can just, you know, I can just simulate it so I don't have to do it repeatedly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue. Let's try to do another exercise right here just so you guys can see. Um, clinch. Well, my clinch attributes are okay, honestly. I mean, I'm, I'm at an 80 for the clinch attributes right there. What I want to bring up is definitely, um, let's see. See, John Jones does not get taken down, so let's make sure that our takedown defense is right where it needs to be. There we go. Come on. Go ahead. Shoot. Shoot again. Nice. You're, you're trying to fake me out, right, bro? Get off me, boy. He ain't taking me down. <laughs> You're gonna break your opponent. If He's you trying to that. fake me Good out job. with the, with the, with the, with the shots, the fake shots. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna go ahead and do that again because I do want. Where's my stand up? Where's that takedown defense? I want to simulate that again. Let's start especially. Ah oh, fuck. You're looking great. Keep it up. Okay, you are. You're aggressive, aggressive with this one, aren't you, bro? Go ahead, shoot. Shoot, there's a shot. Go ahead, do it again. Come on. Come on. Who you faking? Who you faking? Who you faking? Nah. You're setting a good nah. example. Nah. Nah. And you're nah. Also respect. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do our first pro fight and then that's going to be it for episode one. Depending on how these episodes go, um, we might continue okay, this series. We have a camera crew following you around. Now remember, it's important that you check with them before you leave the arena, all right, after each fight. That way you can tell them which highlights you want to save. And remember, every one of the lead MMA is behind you 100%. Thank you. Come on, man, it's your first professional bout. This is going to be fun. So yeah, depending on how this does, how these videos do, we might continue this or we might not. So um, I definitely don't want to waste my time. I'll just put it that way. Like I, I definitely want to do this, but um, not if you guys don't want to watch it. You know, it just it will not be a good use of my time. I'd have to do something else. So if you guys are enjoying these episodes, if you want to see more, go right ahead. Leave a like on the video. And then show up, show up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to do that. If it's your first time watching me, I generally don't ask people to subscribe that much because I feel like if you enjoy a channel too much, you don't really have to re be reminded to subscribe. So subscribe though, if it's your first time watching me um, and turn on those that notification bell. Turn on that notification so that you know when I upload a video. Here with the official introduction, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to the Centurion Ballroom. This fight is three rounds in the heavyweight division. Yeah, baby. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, fighting out of Brazil. Out of Brazil. And now, introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer. Fighting out of the United States. Bone Crusher 
Bone Crusher. Yeah, baby. Fighter ready? I'm ready. Fighter ready. There we go. Let's go. Come on, fight. baby. The fight has begun. On behalf of myself, Moro Ranello, and, and we touch. Jetrock, we are excited to be making our debut Sir, as the cool. leaders of the Destruction Broadcast Team. Now I've really been looking forward to this event. Take it easy. I'm Come on, baby. I'm ready for Take action. it easy. Whiff. He trained with Boss Wooten for this fight, his pro debut, and if memory serves me, did you face Boss Wooten in your pro debut? I did, and two more times. You know, that's a student-trainer relationship that may one day turn him into a champion. With. Boss is one of the best instructors. In the with world. that. But obviously, the sport is about... Let's well, kick. started to think that maybe the guys tallying the strikes were going to be given the night off. There's the first strike of the fight. Let's hope there's a lot more where that came from. <laughs> I don't really care about this without being insulting. I mean, how do you go this far in a fight without... One strike. Oh, shh. Absolutely stunned. They come together in the Get off me. I figured you're just going to try to clinch me all day long. There you go. That's a nice looking kick delivered. Uh, 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 um, um, really? That's what we're doing? He mixes it up, changing his lead hand. Switching stances scrambles your opponent's mind. It forces them to reverse all the techniques and still fight at the same time, giving you a huge advantage. That's a good oh, one. careful. That's it. Nice job at avoiding that punch. Come on. Mm. Good left punch. Nice punch to the body. The body. A kick. Nice looking left jab. Good one. Good one. Do it again. Come on. Head oh, kick. Job of blocking the head kick. Oh, there's a nice looking punch. Oh, right nice. Nice sway right there. Three minutes remain in the round. Great combination. The body. Nice looking hook to Head to kick. The head. That's a good one. That's it. Come here. Wow, that kick had knocked Double all it up. All over it. Oh, oh, come on, baby. That head kick. He was looking for the home run with that. Neither of these fighters is bothered with taking it to the ground. They want to stand and bang. Hey, if you just tuned yes, in, we do. Confused. This is not boxing. This is two guys that don't want to go to the ground. Nice. Oh, that was close, but a great job in just slipping that strike. Great movement is hard to maintain as the fight goes deeper. It's <laughs> slipping and frustrating your opponent. Now that I, I mean, I don't have a lot of moves. There's a solid left punch to the head. Ah. Come on. Two minutes remain in the round. The body. Boom, boom, boom. He connects with a Come on. to the body. Oh, and he's a little bit of defend against that round. Leg kick. kick. Yeah, I don't think my leg kicks. My kicks are not very are not very good yet. Yeah, where where the power is and is with the boxing, bro. Nice looking hook delivered to the head. Sit him down. Oh, he's punishing him now. He is beating him into the ground. The on it. The that should be it. That should be it. It's all. He's already dead, bro. He's already dead. He is already dead. Stop the fight. He is already dead, man. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying, because, I mean, he's he, he really wasn't giving me that much trouble, honestly. I was trying to see if I can, like, fight more like John Jones and use my kicks, but I don't have a lot of power in my kicks just yet, and this fight would have just dragged on for no reason, so I figured I'd just tee off on him with the hands and get him out of there. But we're, we're going to get the, we're going to get the kicks. We're going to get the kicks going properly. All right. So that is it for fight number one. This is exactly where we are going to end episode one. This episode was kind of long. Maybe when I edit it down, it's not going to be as long, but it was kind of long. It really was. 
So that is it, folks. That is it for this first one. Like I said, um, if you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see more, if you want to see more episodes, definitely let me know. What I'm actually considering doing is doing two career modes at once. A career mode for this game and a another John Jones career mode for UFC Undisputed 3 as a direct comparison. I know... Some of you were asking me to do a career mode for Jones in UFC Undisputed 3. And it is, an, it is ambitious for me to try to do that. Two different career modes. It would be like a lot of content just flooding over and over again. A whole lot of content. And I would do it if I thought you guys would be really, really into it. But I don't, I don't think you, you guys would be really into that. So win. You did a great job in that fight. So um, maybe we'll just stick, stick with this one. And then later on, we'll uh, revisit UFC on the Spirit 3's career mode. But that is it, folks. Thanks for watching. Again, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.